Hello and welcome to another Broken Meeple video for E-Raptor inserts and this is for Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis from Blue Orange is this great gateway level game where you're trying to plant trees, get in each other's way, cast a shadow over their trees so they can't grow and it's just basically a simple but pleasant looking abstract game that is easy to pick up and can be quite cutthroat at the best of times. Now the normal version of this game as you can see from the pictures was just basically a cardboard cutout insert and it was horrendous the cardboard was cheap it bent it had no bottom to it there was just no way all you basically did was chuck everything into the box and leave it like that does this insert for me raptor improve on that well let's find out so getting the box open thing on the top Boards basically just have to sit on top and as long as you keep the, the ridged part essentially in the corner you should be able to fit these on fine. So the boards just basically sit on top without too much trouble. Now this is the insert itself. You'll notice it doesn't look that much different from what the original one did but there are some key differences and advantages here. First off, if you take this middle piece off then the tokens, the round tokens for the rounds and the point scoring sit in this little square box one way up. So you can basically just get your finger in there and take the lot out or you could literally just lift the little box out of that cubby hole because it's not fixed in and just leave it on the side of the table or tip it over. Either way it works fine and then you just pop this on. Whoop. Requires a little bit of adjustment I'll admit in order to fit it fully in but there it'll go in and it'll keep those secure in storage. All the rest of it tokens as I've noticed you will you will see that they are in a bag. You could put them in each cubby hole, but frankly, that just makes it quite messy. I would recommend that you still bag up the tokens, just one little bag for those, and pop them into one of the cubby holes. It's not that big a deal. It's not gonna like, you know, really mess up the setup or takedown, but it's just a recommendation I would make. So with the four different builds, each one is exactly the same. Easy to assemble, and it's essentially a square that you can lift out if you want and give to a player. The, all the trees are in there, you just basically put them in as normal, but you'll notice, if I don't want to just give them all out, there's a bottom, so they are self-contained, they're not going to leak all over the box, securely walled, so they're not going to, like, this bit doesn't fold over or anything, and of course, once you're done with it, pop it back in, moving that middle piece a bit, but there you go, it'll move in. And then this essentially is used kind of like as a securing piece to keep them all in one spot. Of course, if one shifts, then, you know, you have to kind of force this middle bit in, but it's not a massive deal. That's essentially what all the four co um, car compartments do, and they all work exactly the same. So is this a big improvement from the previous one? Uh, not overly. This is one that you get if you're a fan of the game and you want that more sturdy construction. Because we all know that the insert in the blue orange game was garbage. You know, that cardboard thing is annoying. And if anything, the biggest advantage you get from having this insert is that there is the bottom on these things so that they are self-contained. You can't do that from the blue orange insert. You have to sort of tip everything out or grab it with your hands, you know, like grab this huge there and do that. And that gets annoying. With this one, at least I can just give you the corner segment and that'll do. And then we just put the corner segments back in the box, slide that in, fix it in place, and then you're good to go. These should stay very stable, so they're not shifting around in storage, and all the trees are in where they need to be. Minus the fact that your tokens don't have their own little insert, but frankly, there's not that many tokens. Do they really need them? And the main ones are underneath there, so they're not going to go flying out of the box. I would dare say that with this piece in place, you could actually store this one vertically. And a lot of these inserts, you kind of force to store them horizontally. You could probably get away with this one vertical. Maybe that will suit you people more who are into doing that with their games. I used to do that. I now do a mix. It depends on the game, whether I store it vertically or horizontally. So overall, whether you want this insert or not is going to depend a lot on what you want for this insert in general. Do you want the self-contained compartments? Do you want these tokens to be separate? Do you want a more sturdy and fancy looking construction in crumpled old cardboard? If so, this won't be that expensive an insert for you and it might be exactly what you're looking for. But otherwise, it's more for the fans of the game rather than a must buy, shall we say. So that's it for me. I'll see you on the next E-Raptor video. And regardless of whether this insert is for you or not, just remember, it's only a game. Take care, and I'll see you next time.